Hey gang, pressure washer pump in front of you, but I want to talk to you guys about something that is apparent in all of, just everything in life, and it's called consumables. What's a consumable? Well, if you look at this outlet, is the inlet and the outlet on this pressure pump. There's an O-ring there. That O-ring is a quote unquote consumable. It's not going to last forever. The metal should. The O-ring won't. That's where getting a nice O-ring set comes in really, really handy. I'm angled down just a bit too far. Getting a nice O-ring set is really, really handy because you're always going to run into O-rings that you're going to need to replace. All right, consumables, other things. The owner of this pressure pump took it apart, took it upon himself to take it apart, clean it up, and change the oil in the lower. What he did not do was replace any of the O-rings or any of the gaskets. In doing so, water switched places with the oil in the pump because the seals were not replaced, which renders this pump junk. The upper half might be salvageable with a new gasket set, but what you would pay to rebuild this unit with needle bearings here, two sets of needle bearings on the swage, new seal in the bottom, all the new seals, you're better off just go out, spend the 90 or 120 bucks, get a new pump as long as your motor's okay. But consumables, anytime you tackle any kind of job, make sure, make absolutely sure that anything that you take apart, you guys saw the, the mess that that Earthworks repairman left that engine in and didn't replace any gaskets other than the head gasket. You have to take the exhaust manifold off. There's two exhaust manifold gaskets that must be replaced. They are considered consumables. That's why when you buy a gasket set, it comes with everything that you will get into from the head gasket all the way out to the carburetor. So don't get just the item that's bad. Get all of the items that it's going to take to get to that item. Get a gasket kit. A full gasket kit. Right there it says gasket set for valves. Alright. Head gasket valves or head gasket are in there. Valve cover gaskets are in there. Valve cover bolt gaskets are in there. Intake manifold gaskets. Exhaust manifold gaskets. Carburetor two intake manifold gaskets. Every single gasket that is going to be possibly taken off is going to be in your kit so you can put brand new in there. You must do that or you're going to have continued leaking issues. You're going to continue having problems. No gaskets, no nothing were replaced on this engine. Float bowl gasket, they took it off and didn't replace it. It just, I just an unbelievable amount of negligence went into that Vanguard engine. You guys will save yourself a lot of hassle, a lot of problems if you do the job with the mindset that there are consumables everywhere, even right down to the hose. And when you're dealing with a pressure washer, if you own a pressure washer, take your lines off both ends every single time you put it away. Do not leave your hose attached. This hose was so frozen onto this pipe that the owner was then taking it apart to drain the hose by taking this off. Well, you're using that consumable over and over and over again against this surface. There are O-rings right here in the groove that go inside here to keep this sealed when you tighten this on. Now you've got steel going into, I don't know if this is steel or not, okay, you've got steel going into steel, a pot metal going into steel. You leave these two attached 
long enough that they are locked and froze together. It took some banging to get these apart. But I'm going to reuse the hose, but I'm going to put new O-rings in. Uh, consumables, consumables, consumables. Just like, you know, you use a paper plate, it gets thrown away. You don't use the paper plate, it sits on the shelf, it's good to go, it's ready for you. It's the same thing with keeping O-rings at hand and ordering your gaskets and your consumables even right down to your garden hose seals. There, you can buy these things in a sheet that's got like a dozen of them on it where you use it a couple or three times, it gets compressed, if you're leaking around here, you grab another one, stick it in there, and you're back off and running to the races with a new gasket and no more leaks. Both ends of these, the owner said, were leaking like crazy. Well, this one had not been off since he purchased the power washer, I believe it was in 2008. That's nine years that this hose stayed attached to that line. You can't do that. You've got to take this stuff apart. Take a little bit of oil, put a little bit of oil in there so you're keeping the surfaces. I wouldn't use anti seize just a little bit of oil. A little bit of preventative maintenance goes a long way. It also helps prolong the life of your O-rings, so on and so forth, provided that your O-rings are uh, petroleum safe, petroleum product safe. So that's it. it, it it's not necessarily a rant, but it is a little bit of a rant. Uh, the more you know, the better off you're going to be. So it's just a little education in consumables. Make sure that when you're done using your power washer or whatever it is that you're using that has attachments to it, take those attachments back off if they're not intended to be on there all the time. I've seen it before also. Uh, leaf shredder, leaf vac shredders, um, either the push kind <clears throat> that's like a push mower but it's a vacuum. People leaving the bags on, don't leave the bags on. Uh, push mower with a leaf or a grass catcher don't leave it on take it off they've got to air out same thing with with these pumps and with this line everything's got to have a chance to breathe get the water to evaporate off of all of these fittings so these fittings won't I mean these are steel they are rusted and pitted you can preserve the life of your non-consumables with just a little bit of preventative maintenance and any time that you go to service something like I said if you're servicing down here and you start taking apart up here you start you take these bolts out you pull that off well you've got three pumps here they've got dual or triple seals on them then you get down in here and you've got seals between this part and this part uh, you know with your uh, your springs are down in this part that run around the swage then you've got seals for your swage bearings if you're taking something apart everything as you step down and as you go whatever you're taking apart if it has a gasket replace that gasket don't reuse it oil pan gaskets uh, any kind of gasket that's why they are called consumables. Guys who uh, drag race, they pull a head off of an engine. They pull a head off of an engine and they don't put the old head gasket back on. A new head gasket goes back on. You've got to compress them back down. You get the new gasket and they're nice and cushy. You compress them down and when you compress them down you can see the impressions and the lip that's formed where this intake manifold gasket has been compressed it's done it's over it's had it that's enough of a rant this is your friendly neighborhood zippo i hope everyone has a wonderful memorial day weekend it is friday may 26 we're getting ready up for sunday here for the indianapolis 500 uh, hope everyone's doing real well. I'll holler at y'all later. I'm out. Boxing time. This is from Michael from Erie, Pennsylvania. 
Let's see what we got. I don't think it's big enough to be a plate, but it has a suspicious shape inside of it. So, always exciting. Let's see, we got a note here. Let me check the note out here real quick. If you guys paused and I appreciate that you don't have a spare PA plate I understand perfectly Let's see what we got here. Oh, get wrapped up oh sweet 2015 bike rally roar on the shore Erie PA sweet and yes I was a rider so E of 2015 Awesome. Mike, thank you very, very much. That's going to look great in the showcase. I definitely appreciate it. Now, Zippo's got to go get busy in this shop. I've got another engine rebuild to do. So, Mike, thank you. You'll see this up in the lighter case. And... Mike, you'll see this up in the lighter case. And I thank you again very, very, very much. And I've got a few PA plates, so we're good there. Thank you, sir. Hey, gang. Just taking a quick preliminary look at the, vein, or the Intec in this John Deere. <clears throat> Pulled the valve covers off. And why don't you guys tell me if you see anything that's uh, not quite right. We covered this on the Vanguard engine, so note, intake and exhaust, intake and exhaust, and something else a little difficult to see, but we will certainly try is the valve guide on this one is pushed way too high it's way up so it has pushed out of the block we come over here to this one and it's where it's supposed to be <clears throat> so it looks like I only need to fix one head let me get a pointer so you guys can see exactly where I'm talking about there okay on the exhaust valve there's the exhaust valve guide right there you can see it stops uh, trying to get a good view it stops right there so it's out about a quarter inch that this one has not moved um, but we can see here on the side of the head how oh, my battery died on the flashlight you can see right here it's not been cleaned my lights probably going to go out again but let's get over here and look at this one again if we can and we can see that that sucker is pushed way too high it is way 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 up there we'll look at the number of coil springs one two three there goes the light again hang on gotta charge my battery okay count the number of coils one two three that right at about the third coil on this side it's only at the second one on this side it's one two it's right there so definitely need to work on this head that just happens to be the same head that went out on mine but we'll get an oil pan gasket we'll go ahead and pull everything apart and just check the whole engine um, He's not going to use this heavily anymore. He's got a grasshopper now. And so this is just going to, you know, pull yard cart, pull, you know, the yard sprayer, stuff like that. It's not going to get hard use. Um, as a result of it not getting hard use, um,
the motor ought to last him the rest of his life if I go through it. And he's given me the green light to do that. Uh, but he wants me to do my fix to the head. And I did tell him, that does not come with a guarantee. I said, I don't have enough time on mine, on my Intec after that repair to determine whether how good of a repair it is. So he said, that's fine. But uh, we'll get our oil pan gasket so we can pull all that off, check everything out underneath there, uh, and then repair the head. But you guys have been through that with me on the other Intec, so we won't need to revisit that. Um, the first part of the video, you guys heard about the consumables which uh, I again am going to reiterate the valve cover you take the valve cover off that gasket has seen its existence uh, they do make valve cover gaskets like for Chevy small block 350 that are that can be recompressed a number of times <clears throat> but in this case no and it's also got a, a motorcycle style fuel filter and it's bone dry and empty uh, I did crank the engine over so I could watch the valves, even though we do have an issue with these two. I'll let you guys point out and tell me what, what's wrong over here. But um, this is too much of a, of a space. It's too large a volume to be able to siphon the gas. The tank's almost full. So once it finally does start pulling some gas through, it just takes an awful lot of cranking, a lot of pulling on the battery. So anyway, that's what's going on there. I'm going to walk over here real quick. Got a few more things going. Got the power washer. And you guys saw the pump for it. The motor's fine. This, I ordered a needle and seat for. That's all that's wrong with that. And I did get it all cleaned up, so it's all pretty. It's a really nice mower. This one, I ordered the intake boot. It's this red rubber boot down here that I'm pointing my finger at. Right down here. Ordered a new one of those. This one just came in, I mean, not even 10 minutes ago, <clears throat> and it needs a complete a carburetor completely cleaned up and uh, adjusted. Uh, it will run on choke. You pull it off choke, it'll run for just a little bit off a of choke, and then it dies. So it just to me, that's indicative of it just being just a little bit clogged up. So we'll get that taken care of, too. And uh, there was one that I fixed the other day that is still sitting out on my picnic table waiting to be picked up. But that's what's been going on here. Just still, still at it. Still doing my thing. Uh, nothing real big or great to report. Again, I hope everybody has a wonderful Memorial, Memorial Day weekend. Uh, remember your loved ones. Remember those that served. Uh, I guess that does it. That's it. This is your friendly neighborhood Zippo. I will catch you guys on the next one. Please, please, please. Over here, smash that like button for me. Thanks. See y'all later. Bye.